Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at how to smooth curves and polylines in AutoCAD and I'm going to show you a couple different ways, one to smooth out your jagged lines and another to fix that issue where circles or curves are appearing like they're jagged and uh, individual lines. They're two different issues and I'm going to show you both solutions in today's video. I think you guys are going to like it. Let's get into it. All right, so let's jump right into today's video. Um, a lot of times in AutoCAD, you will come across a situation where a curve or a circle or an arc is displaying more like these angular kind of jagged lines. So something like this one in the top left here is displaying something like this one in the lower right. Now there's a couple things that are going to affect this. Um, and one of them is kind of the refresh or uh, resolution uh, of arcs and circles in AutoCAD. Now, uh, if this uh, issue is fixed by typing in regen, which it can be sometimes that signifies that it's just kind of a regen or refresh error or issue within the software. Now, one thing you can do to prevent this and to get your curves showing a little smoother and cleaner in AutoCAD is to change the view res variable. So you can do that by typing in V I E W R E S and hitting enter. Uh, it's going to ask if you want fast zooms. That's going to just speed up your zooming and refreshing of objects when doing that. And then the second one here is the zoom percentage. This is going to change the scale or the uh, detail of the resolution of arcs and circles in AutoCAD. So choosing the highest value, which is 20,000 to 0, 0, 0, 0, and hitting enter is going to smooth those out instantly. Now you can also uh, change or update this setting in the options. So typing in options here is going to bring up your main options window. And under the display tab, you can change up the display resolution of arc and circle smoothness. And you want that at 20,000 or 1,000. I mean, sorry, 10,000 or 20,000 at least. The higher, the smoother these are going to be. Uh, same as segments in a polyline curve, you can turn that up if you're running into issues where your polyline curves are showing kind of boxy. Uh, and then the other ones here aren't going to affect this particular problem. Hitting OK is going to change those settings. Again, the maximum is 20,000. And if you're running into this issue a lot, or you're really concerned about the smoothness of your arcs and circles, I would turn this one all the way up to 20,000. Now, before I let you guys go, uh, I wanted to show you how you can smooth out a polyline that isn't necessarily arcs or curves like this one here. Now we've touched on this a little bit with some of our uh, editing and line uh, tips, but if you type in P edit for polyline edit and hit enter, select your jagged kind of linear or multi-line segment polyline and simply choose the fit option. This is going to convert it to a series of curves that fit hitting each of these points along the way. So you can see that it is now rounded and arced each of these segments and we've now got a nice smooth editable polyline that is made up of arcs and curves that you can now adjust as needed and it's going to react similar to a spline. Now that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed these quick and easy tips to help smooth curves. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you'd like to learn more about AutoCAD right now, uh, you can check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. It's discounted uh, for subscribers and viewers like yourself by using the link up above and right now or down below in the description. It's got 10 years of my favorite tips and workflows compacted into an easy to digest and watch uh, video course. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. That's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. 
Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.